Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praise to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Waha, Raka, Kodash. Hey, double honors to you, Apostles and Elders at Great Millstone. Hey, uh, real quick, it says, teacher receives three years suspension for calling homosexual a sin on Facebook. Um, in all actuality, it, it is a sin. It is a transgression against uh, the laws of God. Uh, the laws of God, they're pretty simple. They're straightforward. Um, in fact, uh, I, I don't even have to read too much of the article. Um, the scriptures tell you right off, man. He gave a straight commandment to live on earth. And what has the white, the so-called white man has done? He, he's, he's turned that which is good to evil. All right. Let me go ahead and get that. Uh, what do them they call evil good? All right. So this is Isaiah 5 and 20 because, you know, you can get in trouble just by calling, you know, uh, calling somebody a homosexual or saying, you know, homosexuality is a sin. Uh, these American, this society is a death culture. All right. It promotes death. Um, it's death all around this place, man. Uh, in the air, in the food. All right. It is it, never ending, you know. Um, this whole society, man, is based on eugenics. We live in a, a, a society where they're trying to uh, demasculate all men. You know, you're not accepted in society unless you're a gay man or a transgender man. You know, you're not accepted in society because they they need the weaker nature of people, especially Jakes, especially blacks, Latins, and Native Americans. They need you to be weak. They need you to be homosexuals so you can't rise up, all right? So you won't think like a man. But let me go back to the scripture, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, all right? That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, all right? And that this is, this is uh, that homosexuality, that's all darkness, all right? There's no pro procreation. There's no building a nation. In fact, like I said, it's depopulation, all right? It's all a part of an agenda. It's a form of eugenics that they're using against us. They're forcing this down people's necks. They're forcing people to accept people's ideology when it comes to sexual preference. It has absolutely nothing to do with human rights. You have the uh, human right to, to live, breathe, and to, you know, to, to exist without people harming you, you know? But you don't have the right to try and change and alter biology. All right. And that's what these these cronies are doing. Starting all the way at the top, it says, woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. All right. Which justify and that's talking about your philosophies, which justify the wicked for reward. And take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. All right. So they're taking, they're justifying the wicked. The wicked acts, the, the homosexuality, transgender movement, because that's all eugenics. And, and, and to them, that's, you know, they want to fulfill their lusts. The scriptures talk about when men shall wax worse and worse. They're waxing worse and worse. Case in point, which I'm, uh, I'm at the pause video so I can get the clip off uh, Facebook. Uh, is this guy talking about he's um, he's a multi-gender or whatever, uh, you know, let me let me go ahead and get it slacky. All right, so here we go. I'm going to play a little bit. Identify as gender fluid. Now, what this means basically is my gender doesn't sit in one place all the time. So sometimes I feel more male. Sometimes I identify more female. Sometimes I identify more sort of like gender queer, non-binary, like in this middle. And I float between these genders. It's time to stop. <laughs> all right. So, and that's the type of confusion that you're dealing with here in America. That look at the confusion. He floats between genders. So. In other words, he wants you to believe that his chromosomes change every so often whenever he pleases them to. So in other words, he, he would have to also change genitalia. So his, his, his penis would have to turn into a vagina. Uh, then he would have to become a hermaphrodite, which this is idealistic. This is a psychological 
a mishap. This is a psychological problem that people are deal dealing with, you know, and it's on a level of confusion like never before. You know, you can only be one or one uh, or the other. You can only be male or female. That's how God created it. But they're fighting against the most high. These are the people that's fighting against the most high. All right. With their ideals. And they're trying to make they're forcing people as if th these things are true. When, in fact, they're not. He can't float between uh, any gender. He can only say he can. But the rest, you know, the rest of that is just bullshit, man. You, you, if you see the hypocrisy, the irony of, of the things that we have to deal with here in America. Uh, so, you know, and he's going to be they're going to be heard more than we are. Right. You know, the lo the world love its own. OK, so we're not going to you know, we're we're going to be the ones that's uh, pretty much the evil ones, even though we, we speak truth. All right. So this is Isaiah 59 and four it says none call it for justice, nor any pleaded for truth. They trust in vanity and speak lies. They conceive mischief and bring forth iniquity. All right. They hatch cockatrice eggs and weave the spider's web. He that eateth their eggs dieth and that which is crushed uh, breaketh out into a viper. All right. Their webs shall not become garments. Meaning they're trapped because that's exactly what this is, is a web. OK, it shall not become a covering. All right. The garments is a covering. All right. And we know you can put on the truth as a covering. You can put on these all these different manners of uh, uh, ways and, you know. As a, a, a covering, but that's not uh, a good covering to have. All right. That's that's a shameful cover. It says neither shall they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity and the act of violence is in their hands. Right, man, because these people are they're violent, man. They will they will persecute you just because you're you're standing up for the uh, for the most high's laws. All right. Since their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood, their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity, wasting and destruction are in their paths. And when you deal with these people, LGBTQA, and just a regular nigga, man, they're, you know, wasting, like the scripture said, wasting and destruction are in their past. The way of peace they know not, and there is no judgment in their goings. They they have made them crooked paths. Whosoever goeth therein shall not know peace. All right. And and that's the truth, man. All right. Because all it all it is, all it is, is confusion upon confusion upon confusion. You can be whatever you want. You can do without will, you know. Uh, I'm going to hit the point right here. Isaiah 59 and 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. So you're making yourself a prey, all right? When you when you talk about these things that's against the Most High, when you stand up for the, the evil that's being done in the earth. It says the Lord saw it and it displeased him. So the Most High is displeased right now, all right? That there was no judgment, all right? And he said, and he saw that there was no man and wondered that uh, there was no inter uh, intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness uh, is, is sustained him. All right. So, yeah, man, you got all this filth, all this this wicked shit happening and nobody's really uh, you're going to get pretty much persecuted. OK. So give me a second. I can. All right, so Salaki, um, all right, this is Psalms 94, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to start off at 15, well, 14. It says, for the Lord will not cast, will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance, meaning the nation of Israel, man, us knowing who we are, us uh, receiving his truth, us spreading his truth, all right? All right, Salaki, for the noise. But, um... You know, the time has come where the Lord has, you know, refreshed us with the truth. And now we now we're able to uh, help seal the elect, you know, and be a part of those first fruits. All right. So um, it says verse 15, but judgment shall return unto righteousness 
and all the upright in heart shall follow it. And that's eventually that's what the Lord is going. Uh, that's what He's going to do, man. So a lot of this wicked shit that we see, um, you know, we're we're not gonna we're not gonna uh, uh, we're not gonna see it anymore. Salakia. All right, so Salaki on that. Um, so yeah, verse 16, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? All right? Hey, and that's that's what the Lord is, uh, he's, he's using men to rise up to go against this wicked ass place, man. You know? And the Lord, Lord willing, you know, hey, the Lord's gonna be with us, man, as long as we be faithful, man. No matter what, you know, what, what's going down on, in Babylon, all right? So, uh, I'm going to get one more scripture and I'm going to close out. All right. So, uh, Daniel 7 and uh, 25. All right. Salaki for the noise. All right. All right. So, um, Daniel 7 and uh, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. All right. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change change times and laws, and they shall be given into the into His hand unto a time and times and a dividing of times. All right. So right now, this devil is able to what speak great words against the Most High, and he's wearing the saints out. All right. We're wore out uh, for all the abominable things that we see on a daily basis. You know, uh, it's one thing after uh, another. You know, so man, um, right now that's the state, you know, but if we if we're staying, um, if we, you know, if we are staying in a uh, long suffering, which is patience, you know, the scriptures talk about our patience, you know, and this is a race of endurance. This is a, a race of patience, you know, and uh, a lot of people fall out, you know, but we're. You know, we've seen all these evil things take place and we're holding we're holding our uh, dignity. We're keeping our pro I mean, our dignity. All right. And our integrity, you know, and with that, it's like, you know, uh, it's kind of, um, you know, doing something right now. And um, just out and about, man, I feel like, you know, I go ahead and uh, bring this lesson out, man. Lord, believe you, brothers, edified because, you know, this shit got it has to end, man. And as long as we keep pushing and, and keep doing what we're supposed to, man. <clears throat> the end, the end is right at the door, man. You know, we're just waiting. All right. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh, Ba Shami Yahweh Shai, Double Honesty Apostles, and Elders that Great Millstone. Hey, uh, you know, Shalom.